everyone so today let's understand what is bim so bim is building information modeling okay but what is the definition what is the meaning of bim so we got to know here it's information modeling but about what okay so bim is a process of creation management and use of information so there are three things one is to create the information and other is to manage the information and to use the information okay that information throughout the life cycle of a project or a construction project we can say that can be any building or infrastructure so bim is a process of creation management and use of information throughout the life cycle of a project okay from concept to till demolition okay so what is a life cycle it's nothing but the stages of any project so any project it will start from concept and it will go till demolition so we are using this information throughout the life cycle from concept to till demolition so let's understand now what is the life cycle of a project okay and what information we are creating so we can see one example here okay So if I check now, <clears throat> what is life cycle? We know any project it will start from concept. Okay. After concept is finalized, the next step will be we can say pre-design or its primary design. Okay. When the primary design is finished, we are going to final design. Okay. So these are design stages, okay. And after the design, after design, so we will be starting with the construction, okay. After construction or handover, so there will be operation and maintenance stage will be there, or we can say facility management stage, okay. Then we have renovations in between, okay. Then we have demolition. So all together is nothing but a life cycle of a project, okay, which is starting from concept and ending at demolition. So this information, whatever we are creating in a BIM, in a BIM model, okay, so whatever information is we are creating in a BIM model, so we are using throughout the life cycle of a project, okay. So let's see one example here, so how we can use information maybe at operation and maintenance okay let me close this one <clears throat> now just take an example okay for example this is your house okay and maybe you have a tv here okay and maybe you bought a tv and what you're doing you're taking warranty cards okay from manufacturer manufacturing or maybe supplier okay and you are taking other information so that if any time anything happens to this tv so that you can claim the warranty okay so maybe you can claim the maintenance you can claim the warranty or you can claim the guarantee here. okay so for that one you need to have information but that information maybe you are keeping in hard copies so maybe you have some okay papers for this one to like about about information of warranty in the form of hard copies okay but you can check out we know we have a single house in which only you have you are considering tv as your asset okay so you are keeping tv as your asset so you know asset is nothing but it's valuable item okay so tv is nothing but a valuable item for you and you are keeping some warranty information or guarantee or maybe maintenance information about that one okay because tv is an asset for you okay but just consider like we have a big project that is nothing but a mall okay for just consider like this is a mall project okay and in this mall project we have lot of items right if i check here in this mall maybe i have lifts we have escalators okay 
so we have lifts here we have escalators okay maybe we have lot of like lights okay lot of hvac elements such as ahus we have maybe we have chillers here so we have lot of elements in a mall and mall is a complex project okay so as we know so tv was an asset for you and you had some maintenance information okay with you in the same way we have lot of like elements here in a mall and we need some maintenance information okay so just consider like in a mall we have maybe like maybe you can say five lifts we have okay in a mall maybe there are 10 escalators we have in a mall maybe we can say we have i don't know we have thousands of lights here maybe in a mall we have lot of maybe i can say thousands of hvc equipments we have so how i can keep hard copies so it will be something like a bundle for me if i keep some warranty cards here okay so for that one what we are doing we are using this bim model itself so we are storing all of the information that is about warranty guarantee manufacturing company supplier installation date okay so all of this information we are keeping into a bim model okay just check out what we did we created the information about warranty guarantee manufacturing company supplier vendor whatever it is so all of this information we are storing into a bim model during the design stage and during the operation and maintenance okay so what is happening we are keeping information during design stage plus maybe during construction stage okay so we created the information and we manage the information throughout the design phase and construction phase okay in a bim model so we can say in a bim model and after the construction okay when the model is handed over to the client and the physical building is also handed over to the client then during the operation and maintenance stage we can say operation and maintenance or facility management stage we are using all of this information whatever we have created about the lift hvc elements and all during operation maintenance stage so i think we got to know now we created the information during design and construction stage okay about the operation and maintenance and when we use that information during operation maintenance of the project okay i think we got to know now why we are creating a 3d model we are creating a 3d model to keep the information into the model itself okay so this is the definition i think you got it if you have any like queries again you can add a comment so we can discuss again in next video thank you